Hey guys, it's Jeff Allen off the grid and we're here at the shores of uh, Lake Huron at uh, McGregor Provincial Park and uh, I wanted to showcase for you, we just came out and we did a bit of a shore walk and one of the pieces that I always bring is a piece that I highlighted in one of my previous videos on the build. I'll provide the link up top. This is a little pack, packable beach grill system and uh, I'm going to set it up, show you how to use it and uh, how, how practical something like this is for a DIY build. Let's check it out. Sometimes we just come up with builds that we have to uh, reteach everybody. But uh, this is a build that I did and I'm pretty proud of it. So here's the uh, one of the first pieces here. Threaded rod and I'm going to guess that's about 10 inches long. From there we had a single uh, kind of a long toaster grill and uh, it was, it was, uh, this, is, this is half, so it's been cut off at the halfway mark. The key here is that it has the little, uh, little feet, little steps right underneath it. And that's crucial to putting all this together. Next thing I had was a, a single long grill. Looks something like this that I've cut in half. And it had the kind of raised edges on the side. Now how this all goes together is as follows. First we take the grill and the rounded edges face toward the front. Next with each of our kind of end pieces they uh, they also have these permanent wire legs if you will or hangers uh, pinched to the back and we'll show you the use as we assemble this. So with these, they go over the first ring, under the second ring, and then it's key that those feet are there, it clicks under those feet. We do that with the back side as well. There you have it. Now it's key that you see that these two arms on the back, they cross over, and they're what create that lock on the back so the side walls don't kick out. So there's our, there's our constructed grill, very stable. You can see from the front, this is where we would have our fire. And a great space on the top, roughly 10 by seven, 10 by six cooking surface. That's very, very stable and it can accommodate a fair bit of weight. Sometimes what I've also done is taken the threaded rod and run it back through the, the top under that cooking surface and that completely locks everything together in a very, very stable um, kind of uh, rack system. Where we can have our fire under here roughly oh, four or five inches of height and that gives us a great deal of room to start our fire. Take down is simply the reverse. Remove our threaded rod. Undo the the back kind of hooks. Take them off the end. about this is we lay it all down, lay it all together, trap the legs inside. Now we can thread our rod back through over top of everything through those pieces and it secures everything together in that one kind of stable, stable unit. And that slides right inside the backpack, sometimes down inside the laptop sleeve. Really works well, super compact, super lightweight. It's a really breezy, <laughs> super windy one, really noisy, and I know the audio probably hasn't been that great with the waves crashing on the rocks behind us. But I just wanted to showcase that once again. I'm on the beach doing a little hike, and uh, what a great way to have this in our pack. Little grill system, there's so much driftwood and, and uh, Flammable material here, super dry. That'd be a perfect opportunity to have a shore lunch and have a little barbecue. It's been Jeff Allen off the Gridiron. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. 
like and share with your friends, and uh, enjoy your outdoors, eh? Take care. We'll see you again.